a robot that is able to assist grocery employees and aside from that it is also able to assist you It's really possible that in a very near future, robots will be the ones to do most of your grocery shopping for you. And for some grocery stores in the United States, this kind of future is already getting even closer as we think it is. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. And today is all about the rise of robotics in the US grocery stores. What if you'll come face to face with a robot while shopping at a grocery store? A robot that is able to assist grocery employees and aside from that, it is also able to assist you in finding grocery items you want to buy and it's there at your service. Would you trust a robot? So what I'm trying to point out in here is like Marty, the googly-eyed grocery robot. Now its name is Marty at giant food stores. They say the robot is meant to identify hazards like spills which frees up workers to spend more time with you, the customer. Marty, the robotic assistant, will be helping out at all stores. The robot will help identify liquid, powder, and bulk food item spills. Having Marty there is expected to free up associates to spend more time helping customers. Terrifying. Aside from identifying liquid, powder, and bulk food item spills, Marty is also capable of doing even more than just that. Let me show you what else it can do. He's going to be able to look at out-of-stocks on the shelf and report back to us what those items are. And if they're located in the building, he'll generate a report for an associate to come out to replenish those items. He'll also be looking at unit, pri unit price tags and he'll be reconciling the price on the shelf versus the scanning system at the front end. And if there's an error found, uh, he'll generate a report for us to get that corrected. And now my second one is another grocery robot named Tally. Let me show you what Tally can do for you. We've been uh, building Tally for about two or three years now. Tally is designed to work in concert with retail associates to help ma better manage the state of the store. So what exactly Tally is able to do to assist store employees is this. Designed to uh, go through the uh, store aisles and look for out-of-stock conditions. Tally's pretty smart. We're capturing high-fidelity imagery. It has the ability to capture between you know, 15 and 25,000 products per hour. It's got all sorts of sensors on it, so it knows where it's at um, and what's in front of it, and it can void objects or, or people. So Tally's really intelligent when it comes to grocery inventories. And here is what else it can do. We're helping retailers ensure product is always stocked in the right place and has the right price. The efficiency comes with that. that we'll know that we're out of stock now and we'll be able to go through our processes, our, the, our regular people processes, to get the item into the store and on the shelf. So you're starting to see a greater focus of robotics technology working alongside people uh, to improve the, the quality of their lives. So this robot, Tally, is really designed to be very good at grocery store inventories. Now, what if I can still show you another robot that can do more than just that? And that's the third grocery robot I'm going to show you right now, whose name is Bossa Nova. Aside from its ability to assist store employees when it comes to grocery store inventories, Bossa Nova is also able to identify when an item is on the wrong shelf and many, many more. Using technology similar to that of a self-driving vehicle, Robots have been deployed to scan aisles for out-of-stock items as well as mislabeled merchandise and incorrect prices at nearly 50 Walmart stores across the country. The real-time data is passed along to employees who then go and stock the shelves. But this data that we're getting is arming our associates um, so they have the information to do their jobs better and to serve our customers better. Now, 
we are always talking about robots that are able to assist employees when it comes to grocery items. But who is assigned to clean up the mess on the floor of the grocery store? Well, let's assign this floor cleaning task to the next robot I'm going to show you right now. The floor cleaning robot. Getting the robot to clean floors is the easy part. Making sure it never hurts anyone is hard. This may be a floor cleaning robot, but it looks more like a John Deere lawnmower than a Roomba. Right now, a child-sized mannequin is blocking its path. The kid won't move, so the robot waits, visually assesses the situation, and then slowly curves around the kid. Now it can safely proceed to clean up the mess in aisle 3. Now, for those of you people who work in this kind of job, don't ever think bad about this robot because it'll just be there to help and assist you when it comes to cleaning tasks. Emma won't take jobs away from janitors. She'll just so help them do their jobs around. better. We are automating only the simplest, the most boring, uh, the, the, the dullest part of their job. Um, and there are other uh, tas tasks that they need to do which uh, we cannot automate. Tasks like cleaning bathrooms or shelves. Since we've already come to the end part of this video, what I can say right now is, don't forget to leave your comment if you have anything to say about the rise of robotics in grocery stores. That's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.